Good morning, Facebook. How are you guys? Happy Thursday. Uh, I have my coffee. I thought I'd just hop on here and do a little bit of a coffee chat. Don't know 100% what I'm gonna say, but I have an idea. Um, I thought it might just be fun. I actually am procrastinating just a little, which is funny because procrastination, I think, was the topic of the last live that I just did um, a couple of days ago, but um, we are in the midst of packing a house. We're moving just a mile away from our current house, um, but we had an opportunity to come up that we just couldn't pass up um, regarding this new house. So we're moving in the middle of football season, which is maybe not advised always, but um, we're making it. So I thought, hmm, let's go have a coffee Facebook chat and procrastinate on the packing a little bit more. Um, we're having a garage sale tomorrow and Saturday as well. So that's really what I'm doing is kind of going through things and separating stuff out for that. So, hey, I'll be posting about our garage sale, but come see all the things. Um, anyways, coffee chat. It's Thursday. Yay. The week's, it's almost Friday. Fridays are my favorite day of the week during football season. Um, and tomorrow is it's a special Friday because the kids don't have school. So um, I'm sure I'll have lots of help uh, at the garage show with the kids. Um, anyways, I wanted to just chat a little bit. So do you guys ever have like, it's a coffee chat. I have to take a sip of my coffee, right? Do you ever have dreams that are like so vivid? Like when you're sleeping dreams? Um, I used to dream like all the time when I was sleeping. But uh, since I have started Optavia and when I'm in fat burn, I'm generally sleeping so hard that if I'm dreaming, I at least don't remember it. Um, but last night, for whatever reason, I had like a really, really vivid dream. You know the kind of dream where you can like see someone's face? And it might even be someone you don't know, but someone's face and like you know a name. And it's just so weird, right? Because you're like, I don't know this person. Anyways, it was related to foster care in my dream. Um, so that was kind of weird. And I woke up this morning, I'm like, man, that was a vivid dream. I don't know. Not that I was really going anywhere with that, except for I just started thinking about dreams in general, not like the sleeping kind of dreams, but the other kind of dreams. So like those thoughts in our head that we have um, just about maybe our aspirations or our goals or things that we're hoping to accomplish or wanting to accomplish. And I feel like people kind of fall into two categories when you're talking about dreams, either like the like, oh, that could never happen, wouldn't it be cool if kind of dreams? Or the people who are like, no, I've got dreams, I've got big goals. I like to call them big, hairy, audacious goals, big, big hag goals. Um, and they're more like something that people work towards. So I kind of wanted to ask today, like, what kind of dreamer are you? Um, are you like a, oh, that could never happen, wouldn't it be cool if kind of dreamer? Or are you a, I feel like this is something that I want and I want to work towards and I want to like put action steps in to make it happen. Um, I can think of a couple examples in our life of dreams and I think for a long time our dreamer, our dreamers, me and Brenton collectively were a little, not broken, but maybe a little beat down like just with the monotony of like daily life and it felt like things were constantly being thrown at you and to think too far into the future or ahead at all was a little bit difficult as you're just kind of stuck in the, I don't know, the yuckiness of some time, of things sometimes. But over the past couple of years, I think we've been pretty intentional on um, dreaming a little bit more and kind of setting things out for ourselves. I think the first time uh, we really started to dream, but, I mean, obviously before we got married, we dreamed some, right, together of what we wanted our life to look like. But um, after we had had our biological kids, when we decided to do foster care, uh, that was definitely a dream. It was a dream to um, continue our family and be in service to our community and just give love that we knew we had to give. And at the time that felt like a little far off because there were a lot of steps in the process. Now I'm a very task oriented person. So my agency likes to joke that I went through the certification process faster than anyone they ever had. It took us three months, but I was like, okay, what's my next thing? What's my next thing? And that was a dream for me that it was something that I could see behind my eyes it felt tangible and I worked really hard towards it and I set out my goals and I put the things in line and it wasn't always sunshine and rainbows it didn't always work out perfectly but it was a dream that we had made a goal and then we put tangible action steps in um I can think too like it was a dream for us when we first started our journey with Optavia like 
hey, what does this look like in our own health? At first it was just our own health, right? Um, and it was a dream like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could be like those, you know, skinny, confident, fun parents, right? That, that had energy to do things with their kids and that, you know, didn't have negative body talk to say because we were feeling better. And so that was a dream for us until it became a tangible thing that we could like taste. And then we started to get little glimpses of that and sort of, um, sorry, I'm rocking. That's probably really annoying to you guys watching. Um, and started to put action steps into place to accomplish that dream. And then we got a little further in and we were helping other people and we were like, Hey, wouldn't it be cool if I could stay home and be a mom at home? And that seems like a super far off dream. Like when I went to college to be a teacher, I never thought that that was going to be a possibility for us. And, um, you know, Octavia came in and showed us that like, Hey, you know, here's the financial piece that you need to, or that, that we're giving you and here's what you need to reach. And um, like we put that on ourselves for me to come home. And thankfully all in God's timing, it totally worked because I had to come and help Ainsley with a lot of medical things that she's been dealing with. But um, it's just really taught me that like dreaming is something that we sometimes forget to do. But I wanna encourage you today, like your dreams are important and you shouldn't just set them aside, right? Because sometimes I feel like God uses our, our hopes and aspirations and our dreams to kind of like knock on our little door and say like, hey, I'm calling you to this. I, I tell people all the time, they're like, oh, I don't know how you do foster care. It's a calling for sure. And it was a dream for us for a while. And then God kind of like knocked on the door and started pulling us in and it became a reality for us. And um, it was the same thing sort of with Optavia and being able to bring me home and, and to do a coaching business from home rather than teaching. That was like a big dream that we thought was so far off. I would almost call it like a pipe dream. Like, hey, like what if, wouldn't it be cool? And I just want to encourage you guys to like lean into those dreams. Don't let your dreamer be broken. What is it that you are hoping to accomplish or what is it that you're wanting to do? Um, it's easy to like get stuck in the yuckiness of monotony of day to day and sort of forget some of those big picture ideas. But I just want to encourage you, if it's something you really want, go for it. Okay. It might not be easy. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Our foster care journey over the last three months has kind of sucked. We've had no kid and we're like, man, we have our house up to code. We've done all the trainings. We've said some really nasty goodbyes over the last, not nasty, just really emotionally difficult goodbyes over the last year. It's just coming up on one year um, since our little um, Ari girl left and then baby Briggs left um, four months ago now. And so it's not all sunshine and rainbows all the time. And sometimes roadblocks come in the way of your dreams. And sometimes we don't understand why things aren't working out the way we want them to, but just want to encourage you, don't stop dreaming. Don't give up on yourself. Sometimes those dreams are callings on your life and you just got to lean into them and say, okay, God, what's next? Show me the next step. Show me the next thing to do. Let's backward engineer this dream. If I want to be here, what do I have to do to get there? So that's my coffee chat for you. I totally went down a rabbit hole. I knew I would. I always do. But I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday. Thank you for the love some of you are sending that are watching. I really appreciate it. I know I can be a squirrel brain. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and looking forward to that weekend. Bye, y'all.